Here is the axillary artery. Let's examine its branches. Here we have the superior thoracic artery. It runs along the superior border of pectoralis minor and helps to supply the first two intercostal spaces. Here is the thoracocromial trunk. It divides to give several pectoral branches, which go towards pectoralis major and minor, a deltoid branch that runs towards deltoid, a clavicular branch, and an acromial branch. Here we have the lateral thoracic artery. It runs along the lower border of pectoralis minor. Here is the largest branch, the subscapular artery. It divides to give the circumflex scapular artery, which will pass inferiorly around the lateral border of the scapula, and the thoracodorsal artery, which runs deep to latissimus dorsi. Here is the anterior circumflex humeral artery. It runs anterior to the humerus and its demos, with the final branch of the axillary artery, the posterior circumflex humeral artery, which will pass through the quadrangular space and posterior to the humerus. A useful mnemonic to remember these branches is screw the lawyer, save the patient.